Hey guys, what's going on? This is Tim from LiveCaseBreak.com. We've got our March Beckett grading submissions reveal video in um, 120, 130 cards, something like that. Uh, we've got them all set out already with names sorted. So, did the grunt work already? It's time to just sit back and check out the grade. So, Good luck, everybody. Here is the link to pay for your cards. If you know how many you have, go ahead and check out, and I can verify for you. If not, just wait and ask and uh, see how many you have. If you sent in cards and you don't see them subbed or you don't see them in this stack, that just means they're off on the side and they didn't pass the uh, initial inspection to go in for grading. Um, quite a few of you did have some like that, so without further ado, let's start showing some cards here. Sean M, your Moncada out of 50, gem. I need to get that autofocus off. There we go. So Moncada, 16 Bowman's best, insert the on-card one, and that was out of 99 or 50? 44 out of 50. So Sean M, you kick things off with a gem. I had two cards. I've been trying to get a black label of these two since I saw the card design, because I love it. I failed again. I did get a 10 on the Strowman. So close. Half a freaking point. So that's kind of cool. Love that card of Strow. Love that Joey Bats, but no black label. Boop. Dan R. Uh, you've got an Ahmed. That scored an A5. Tough grade on that. And the Timmy Tebow got a 9. So you have those two, Dan. And the AJ Puck Atomic. That was out of 25, that gemmed. Nice gold label. <laughs> Somebody sent a fake mantle. He's pulling your chain, Ron. He's pulling your chain. So again, guys, as you pay throughout the night, I'll mark these and we'll get them shipped out this week. The quicker you guys pay, the quicker we can ship them out. Marcus, your Diaz Bowman's best, 9-5. Got a 10 on the centering, too. 10 centering gemmed. Rich G, you had the 16 Bowman's Best Bryant base that gemmed. There were two of these. So you got the 9.5. Haig, you uh, had some bad luck with this one. Uh, the Maniac was pretty damn nice. Centering 10, edges 9.5, corners and surface. There was something that I couldn't find on the surface that Beckett found, or they just screwed you hard. That could have happened too. So Haig, I failed you in your first grading attempt with me. I apologize. Hopefully the next time is better. So the Maniac Best just got an 8.5. Okay, Tommy G. Beautiful card. Schwarber from 15 leaf metal draft 10 on the centering gemmed overall that is a really really pretty card 5 out of 50 on that Schwarber it's a gorgeous looking card it's a nice grade for that Nick B your Brian Atomic had a corner issue that somehow slipped through or BGS screwed you Everything else graded nicely, but that corner held it down to a nine. Pretty card. 10 centering on that. So I guess we know that's what the back of a 96 looks like that's perfectly centered. To say, I had no idea. Truby, what's up, man? We're just doing uh, personals. And your Owings rookie refractor that you got in a box of, uh, I think that was actually in a rookie prospect. Chris Owings. That gemmed. 
14 tops chrome rookie auto refractor. Should have been numbered, right? Yeah, out of 499. So those were your two, Nick. Stuff off of the sun. Okay, Josh G. I didn't get to yours net yet, no, Dave. Josh G, you had a Benny Green Prospect Refractor, the gem. Uh, 58 out of 99, and then your Benintendi Orange Auto gemmed as well. Gorgeous. Nine fives in a nine. Truby, I got a ton of stuff in stock, man. I got football, too. I know that's up your alley. Um, Steven, you're right here. Let's do you next. Steven P. The nice Senzel right there. Jemmy Gem Gem. Your Posey Super. Pulled by yours truly. Gem. Nice Bellinger First Chrome. It's a big card. Big Power Prospect for LA. Bellinger. Schwarber Prime Positions. That gemmed as well. Steven on fire. Four for four. Moncada green. Out of what? Seven? Ten? Seven or ten? Six out of ten on the Moncada. Yep, I'll give you a link, True. Right here. This is all the personals in stock. And we got a Brendan Rogers black. Steven, the perfect six for six, my man. Perfect six for six. Not too shabby. Not one no grade there. Okay, and we had Derek G. Derek, that Correa, obviously disappointing. 8.5. Corners and surface dinged it. Surface looked amazing, so there must have been something in the black on the back. Maybe a ding or a depression in it that they got. Uh, corners are always a little soft on Sterling, but you can usually squeeze a nine. You got it, Truby. And your Maniac graded nicely. Jammed on that. Ten centering, nine fives around. Nice atomic first impressions out of 25. Nine out of 25. So one for two for you, my friend. Okay, Greg H. The Skag Super 9. Which was honestly a pretty good grade in my opinion because the centering was off top to bottom, you can see. It's a little worried about that. So 9, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm happy. I don't know if you're happy, but I'm happy with a 9. It's the 2013 Bowman Chrome Mini Super of Skags. Bregman from Bowman Platinum out of 150. That gem. Nice card. Pretty. True gem, all nine fives. And your Margo 14 Chrome, that nine. Nines all around on that. Uh, centering was pretty suspect, <laughs> to say the least. So again, that one, I, I, I'm pretty happy with a nine for you. You can see the centering left to right and top to bottom. I know, when you get a nice nine five out of 13 Sterling, it's like hitting the lottery, man. I know, Truby, that's what it's like having a fiance now, dude. Corey H, another card pulled by yours truly, your Contreras Red out of best gem. Beautiful card right there. That'll get you some good coin back. Two out of five. Yeah, the only where you can only place you can find it. Walmart. Danny Man! Ray Isbay for you. Your little prism out of 10. Gemmed. Was it out of 10? Yeah, 10 out of 10. It's because it's all sold out, man. Nice Ray and the Rayus Wood. I don't really know what happened. 
I looked at this earlier, they say the corners were off. I couldn't find anything wrong with the corners. Said the edges were off, I, I couldn't find anything wrong with the edges. Corners looked fine to me. I don't know, maybe your eyes will be able to find something that I couldn't, but... One for two. That Ray's a nice set. Um, both shipped to you, Danny. Let me know what I'm doing on those. Uh, Ron A. There you go, Ron. Okay, I think this is the first time grading with me, right? Omar. Gem. Jemmy Gem Gem. Nice card. A little worried about the centering on that, but it came through. Eh, just get something you like then, Truby. You know, tribute or football. Uh, the Prism football and the Select football are both pretty good, man. Okay, here's your mantle. It was authentic, Ron. It scored a five with Beckett. Um, I didn't. I didn't look this up for value. I don't know if a five's good for 69 mantles or bad. And they did notate it as the 500B, the the error, the mantle with white letters. So again, I, is the five good on that? I didn't look it up. I mean, I know it's not great. But that was in pretty rough shape. Yeah, it's real, dude. That's awesome. Not trimmed, not altered, nothing like that. And yeah, I saw, I saw the five and I thought that was pretty nice. Because it had the surface issue on it and the corners are obviously not the greatest. The centering was pretty damn good. Pretty happy with the centering. So there you go. It got a five. Nice card. The only vintage card in this grading sub. Um, this one also came back as an 8-8 because the autos were streaky, but at least it's slab now. There was some confusion with it uh, because only the first 100 were autographed on these. 7 out of 1,500 and only the first 100 were autographed. So the 8 grade on the autos, I think it's a little poor. It should have been a 9. Yeah, the surface was rough on that on that mantle for sure. Chipper had a few streaks and Eddie had a couple streaks in him too. Eddie Matthews and Chipper Jones dual auto out of 1500 but really numbered out of 100 that was 1998 Donruss Elite card overall scored an 8 autographs got an 8 awesome card ok your KB Green 17 out of 99 that was pulled for you Rookie P it was either a Rookie P break or a 15 uh, or a 16 Bowman's best case I can't remember one or the other Awesome grade, though. 17 out of 99. And I thought this was a black label when I saw it on the pop report. Your 1998 Donner's Preferred Precious Metals Maddox. Tend. Pristine, bro. The only thing they dogged you on was the damn edges. Which is shocking. Because it's still in its an original slab in there, you can see. They left it in the little purely platinum cover. So how the hell did they, uh, oh, did you get a BGS hair? No? You get an eyelash. Thought there was an eye, or a BGS hair in there. Yeah, this card is unreal. Precious metals. It's one gram of fine platinum in that card. Very nice. Very nice. If it's in this, uh, if it's in this holder with the autograph notation, Joe, it means it's authentic by their uh, by their standards. If you were getting something autographed that wasn't a Tops or Panini or Donruss or whatever, then they would do a separate uh, a separate slab on the top. Uh, you can do that, Joe. I can help you out with that. You don't have to have it graded, you can just have them slabbed authentic. Yep. A little cheaper that way. Actually, I think it might actually be a little more expensive that way, I can't remember. Alright, Ben Sanka. Bizonk, Braxton Garrett. Two tens on the sub. Very nice, out of 25. Dansby, insert. Uh, is that out of 99? 38 out of 99 for Bizonk. 10 on the centering, 9.5's around. 
your Kyle Tucker Super Fracta. Leaf Perfect Game 2014. Gemmed out. Ah, uh, Steven, let me verify for you. I got it. Six cards. Steven, you're all set, man. Thank you. Tucker and the Contreras Atomic, also gem. Perfect four for four for Mr. Bazonk. 15 out of 25. A little Atomic on the Wilson. Quite a few guys batting a thousand here. Okay, Steven is paid. Let me mark that down. There we go. Oh, you're my pinball scores. Okay, Andy. I emailed or I messaged the the name and asked who the hell it was. <laughs> That's great. Um, give me just a second. Let me add you into the group. There you go. You got it in. Okay, Benji. You had the Rogers first. That gem. Uh, no, it's all, it's the same, Truby. 212 2450 with my area code. Nice Rogers first, the gym. Charles. Okay, these are Charles's. 2450 or the last four of it, yeah. Carlos Correa. This was your only disappointing one, which wasn't really that disappointing. Uh, corner got an A5. Clearly a Beckett employee dropped it on its side or something. That card was pristine. Ten edges, nine fives around. Is that the number you have for me, True? Or is that not the number you have for me? Correa Orange. This was actually pulled out of a rookie P mixer. Robin Yao, finest grades. That card is sick. Two out of fifty on the Yao. Three one five is the area code, Truby. Robin Yao, your Bregman Green, eighty-eight out of ninety-nine. That gemmed as well. Eighty-eight out of ninety-nine. Your Diaz gemmed. Diaz base. And the one he's going to be the most happy with. Pulled for him by yours truly. And graded a 10, half a point off a damn black label. There you go. Tens. The corners at 9.5 were the only thing that held that back from a freaking black label. The new 2017 Leaf Baseball Greatest Hits have rookie Bregman autos from Bowman in them. Slabbed. What year, Steven? Rookie Bregman from Bowman? <laughs> Atta boy, Charles. You got a 10 10 to close out your sub. Charles batted 1,002. 6 for 6. Well, 5 for 6. Let's try that again. 4 for 5. 5 total cards with a gray. Alright. Nate's going to hate me because his Thice Atomic didn't gem, and I thought it really would. Mint! Corners. If the corners had bumped to a 9, it would have been a gem. 2 out of 25 on that for Nate. Danielle, you had a couple cards here. Goldie Base from uh, 2016 Tops Now. Oh, Tops Now. Nice. I didn't even realize that's what that was. Cool. I got a 9. Decent grade for paper. Those are tough. Dansby Purple, I believe that came from Rookie P. Gem. Both of your bandas that we sent in gemmed. Two of them. This one had a 10 edges, 9.5 around. And this one had a 10 centering, 9.5s around, except for the corners. So two gems. Uh, this one was actually a refractor, I just noticed, and this is a base. 
And the Owings X Factor. I couldn't get it to gem, Daniel. I'm sorry. I tried. Close, though. Mint 9. 69 out of 149 on the Owings X Factor rookie from 14 finest. <laughs> For sure. What's up, Justin? How are you, man? Alright. John C., you got the runt. The KB that did not gem. Something on the uh, corners and surface there. Boo, boo, boo. Just missed the 9 5. Okay, Chad had three cards here. Your Schwarber 14 9 which is still a pretty nice grade for that, really. Not terrible. Uh, only thing that held it back was the surface at an 8.5. Half a point bump there. Schwarber 9. Your Tyone Red from uh, Bowman's Best. Gemmed. 1 out of 5. Sounds good, Truby. Have a good one, man. I will catch you later. So gemmed on the Tyone. And your third card was in a brain. Gemmed. So the only thing that missed was that Schwarber with a 9, which not too terrible. Must be, must be on his end. <laughs> Chad, three cards. Scott R. You had a 10 pristine on your first Senzel out of 25. 8 out of 25. Just missed a black label, obviously. Surface. Senzel Black Future Stars is your other one that gemmed. So pretty. That was two out of seven. So two for two, actually, really. Even better than two for two, because you got a ten on there. Senzel Sub for Scott R. Alright, Deca Dan, my man. Cardinals fans will be jealous of this one. All right, Deca Dan's trying to do the rainbow for Piscotti. His base got a nine. Gets better from there. Definitely gets better from there. All right, so we got a gold that gemmed. His orange gemmed, so two of the tough ones to gem are out. Blue wave gemmed, another tough one. It's out of 75. You got the 50, the 25, and the 75 out. Your blue gem. So pretty. Scotty rainbow grading in effect. Let's try and get these in order here. Okay, your other two nines, the black and the pink, which are both not numbered, so wouldn't be too difficult to get another version of those and try for a 9.5 overall. Black and pink, and then your other ones, your prism gemmed. With 10 centering, too. Purple gem, 10 centering and 10 edges on that. Purple. Well, that's YouTube for you. It's going to freeze a little bit. Piscotti sepia. Gemmed. Piscotti Green. What was that out of 99? Gemmed. And your last Piscotti, the Blue Sapphire, which there are only 250 copies of. That one, 10. So they all pretty much gemmed on the important ones. You got a couple you might need to resub. Try for the 9 5 rainbow. If you feel like it. Or you might not care like that. And there's your last one, and it 10. Deca Deca. Let's see, you had 12 cards, 4, 8, 12 cards total for you, Deca. Again, guys, here's the link to check out for Beckett grading. If you know how many cards you had, just type in the type in the quantity and check right out. Not sending invoices this time. I figured the link's easier. Anthony C., you had a couple cards here. AK Orange, that gem from Bowman's Best, 33 out of 50. 
AK Atomic out of 25, that gem. Blue Sapphire, those are tough. Those are only available in those sets. Uh, this is a 1994 Finest Brett Favre. So an earlier Favre in that nine. Is this a rookie? I do not know. Let's see, this is a second or third year Favre, so not definitely not a rookie. I remember that, Danny. Uh, another Favre, this was 2008 Topps Chrome Blue Refractors Favre, that nine for you, Anthony. 93 was his rookie, so second year Favre. This Favre is 29 out of 50, nice grade. Older card, nine, not too shabby. Oh, 2008. I thought that was 98. Never mind. <laughs> and then the AP and the LT you wanted graded. Got a 9. Not too bad. Dual patch out of uh, Threads, 2009. 2009 Downer's Threads Generations Prime. What was that out of? 20? Out of 50. 20 out of 50. Uh, Andy, you don't have anything in this one. No, you have, uh, you have a bunch of stuff in the next one. A ton of stuff in the next one. All right, the Melissa's. Um, Melissa's, I didn't know whose was whose on these. So I just dubbed it the Melissa's. Uh, you guys had six cards total. Um, you guys can just divide up the link and pay accordingly with whose was what. I, I didn't specify whose was what on these. Okay, so your Harper 96 gem. The insert, got a 10. 10 centering, 9.5's around. Let's see if I have these in order. Okay, you got a Dansby, that only 9. Not a terrible grade. Average grade right there. 9 on the Dansby. Your Guriel Orange, that gem, out of 50. 42 out of 50. Uh, you get a 10 centering and the rest average. Your Lindy, not gemmed. 10 edges, standard on the rest. <laughs> I bet I'll pull him a super too. Your Benny gemmed as well. So you guys are batting pretty good. Four for five here. Batting 800 going into the last card and I think you know what it is. Oh, it's so pretty. 9.5. 21 out of 25 on your KB Atomic. So we're graded out after the weight. Uh, 10 centering, 9.5 corners and surface, and the edges got a 9. The edges almost screwed that card down to a 9, but they didn't. They came close. They tried. That's a beauty. <laughs> Soon is used loosely here. It's a gorgeous card there. For the Melissa's, you had six total cards. Okay, Steve K. This one's weird. It got a nine on your KB Atomic. Your subs are amazing. And you had that one 8.5 on the corners. One, 8.5. You had 10s around on the centering edges, surface 9.5. Damn corners. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know how they do this, a card can never grade a half point higher, or more than a half point higher than its lowest sub. So even though those subs average out to higher than a 9, can't be higher than a 9 because the corners are A5. A lot of people would try to resub this and try to bump that corner up to a 9. I looked at this with the glass earlier, I could not find the damage on the corner. Other than this right here is a little white. That's all I found. So when you get it, you'll uh, take a look and maybe you can find something I couldn't find. Nice card though, Steve K. All right, we got all the uh, bigger stacks remaining here. Uh, I've pulled a Bryant Super though, the 14 Bowman Draft. I've never pulled a, a uh, Bryant Super Auto. That would be pretty mental here. Okay, um, Winger, your stack, I th if I remember correctly, is kind of all over the place, dude. I think you knew it was going to be all over the place. 
Um, I think you had a note in here that a lot of this stuff was PC, if I remember correctly. Maybe it was somebody else. Uh, Betts got the minimum there, 8-5, on the purple paper. It's obviously a very tough card to grade. 2014 Bowman Prospects, purple. Centering is what doomed that, as you can see on the back of it. Wow, how is that 8-5 centering? Ah, because the front's perfect, just about. Okay. Averages out. Bill Russell, nice on-card auto from Absolute. Got a 9. 43 out of 60. Marks of Fame. Hey, it could, Pib. It could. Your Gene Segura, the first of your Gene Segura PC here out of 35. Tribute to pastime, that gemmed. Who did pick the box? I don't remember. Was it you, Mike? Gene Segura out of 40. That got a gem as well. Gene Segura, 1 out of 30. I got a gem. Gene Segura Tribute PC. Ryan Braun, red ink from Tier 1. That's a tough one to get. Claimed ink red, 4 out of 5. That gemmed as well. Nice card. He's having a pretty good season. I only know because I've got him on one of the fantasy teams. Derrick Henry, Spectra. I got a 9. Spectra RPA, Derrick Henry from 2016. Solid grade for a Spectra product. Uh, Ryan Braun, 2007 Upper Deck Future Stars, Rookie Auto. That got a 9 as well. Nice grade for that. Older card, older Upper Deck, tough to grade. Did have some corner issues, so I'm actually happy that I got a 9 for you. Thought it might be lower. Corner scored a 9 too. Edges are what they got you on 8-5. Braun. Michael Jordan game use bat. You had graded, got a 9. 100% authentic game used bat piece. It's a pretty damn cool card. For the Barons, 2001 SP Top Prospects. What's up, John? How are you, man? Jim Bunning got an 8-5 out of 45. I know, Dave. <laughs> hey, to be fair, my team over last weekend hit like 114. Lost me the week, so they were due. They were due. Uh, the JD, 16 Donruss Optic Gold Auto. That was out of 5, I think. 2 out of 5 on the JD. That 9. No gem for you. I am doing excellent. Uh, one of your Bryants, I think you had two of these, didn't you? Yeah, you had two of them. And they both got nines, which is not too shabby for 2015 base tops. These are not chrome. These are the base tops. So both nines on those. Not too bad. 8-5 uh, on the corners on this one. 8-5 on the corners on that one. Base paper tops. Nine Bryant rookies. Okay, you had a Zimmer from 15 best. Refractor that gemmed. Very nice. Beautiful freaking card right here. Soriano, Mickey Mantle, and Alex Rodriguez out of 27. 2007 Tops Triple Threads. I think we, we knew that one wasn't going to grade too well. But it's slabbed and it's protected. Uh, corners and Surface got 8. Mantle, game used Pinstripe, and then you had Bats of Soriano and A-Rod. Okay, Didi, Bronze Inc. That's a nice grade for Tier 1. Two tens as well. Centering and corners, tens, nine fives around out of 25 Didi. And your last card was the one Segura that didn't grade well. Uh, the one out of 15, the corners at an 8, dinged it down. And the edges at 8.5. That one was a little rough. So mix up for you, Justin. Some good, some bad, some average. Uh, total cards you had, let's see, five, oh, five, ten, fifteen, seventeen total, Justin. Seventeen total. Okay.
Okay, here is the link again, guys, for those of you guys that want to get these paid for so we can get them right out. There's the link. Just type in the quantity and check out, and I'll verify with you. JT, you are up next. Let's take a look at your sub. 9-5 on the Deavers from 2015 Leaf Metal Draft. Green. Beautiful card. Deavers green. 9 out of 10 on that. Paulino blue. You got dinged on the autograph. That gemmed though. 9 auto. Off the card there. Bader 9. 16 Bowman Chrome. Trevor Story gem is a green, 25 out of 99. I don't know if that was from a rookie P, JT. I think it was from a rookie P. Nice card. You had a Bregman base that 9 5 I was actually a little worried about the auto on that. You can see it was kind of, kind of streaky there. Yeah, John, you had the one that that nine, buddy. The the 16 Bowman Best Bryant that nine. Um, it was right here. Um, corners and surface apparently were not up to, up to snuff. That's really close to bumping to a 9.5, but I don't know. There must have been something on the back of the card on the, on the surface that I couldn't get cleaned. Because most of the surface grades from here are pretty high. Nine's pretty low. Um, two Martez's JT. This guy's tough to grade. I, I don't think I've got a gem of this kid yet. Uh, both 10 autos, but a 9 and an 8.5. Corners at an 8 are what dinged this one, and corners at an 8.5 are what dinged the other one. Damn Martezes. Okay, McKinney. Orange. Shimmer. 8.5. Uh, 10 out of 10 on that. Boy, those are, those are lower numbered than I thought. Kenny Orange, 8.5. Okay, then we have a nice one here. Calhoun. Calhoun Purple. First auto there. 16 Bowman. Purple. Gem. Yulieski Guriel. Uh, gem. Yeah, three Jordan Stevens, if I remember correctly. Three Jordan Stevens Blues. He had a nine on the first one. Nine on the second one. And a nine on the third one. I could not pull a gem for you out of those, man. Uh, centering and corners got this one. Edges and surface got that one. Edges and corners got that one. Tough. Tough, tough, tough. Would you look at that? We did have a Martez gem in this. Craziness. One of them. <laughs> so Martez, you got one gem out of there. Centering does not look like 9.5 centering. And to end it, you got a Paulino Blue that gemmed with a 10 auto. So they didn't, they didn't ding you for that auto. That one was solid. Paulino Blue. The one that gemmed was 120 out of 150. There you go, JT. JT, you had 5, 10, 15, 18 total cards. Let's make sure that matches up with my sheet here. That does not match up with my sheet. What do I do? It's because I counted them wrong. 15 total cards, JT. I mean, I say this to everybody, John. If it was mine, I'm going to break it out and I'm going to try to reclean it and send it in. Yeah. Um, for you, I know you collect Bryant. So I don't know if it's worth another 15 bucks to you to try to gem that up. I mean, I looked at it and I couldn't find what they what they took off. So that means it's either a surface impression that I just can't see or they just screwed up on it, which is quite possible. It happens just about every sub. There's at least a couple cards where they just... Grader was drunk or something, man. So I leave it up to you. If My advice is if it was mine, I, I'm, I'm sending it back in and, and taking that small shot. Okay, Dave Bach. 
Dave Bach had the funniest card in the sub. I did find the damage on this, Dave. I had to get the magnifying glass out to find it. Try it again. All right. Let me move that around. Um, you can pay for the first round right here. And we'll send it back in for the second round. So as Newman got a six, uh, the corner's at a five five, and the damage is down here. I don't know if I can. Okay, you can see it right there. When you're first looking at this, you don't see it because you're just looking through and you're looking at the corners, the actual physical corner, and you're like, oh, these corners are fine. The damage is actually just above the corner. You can see the crease in it right there on the bottom. See it right there. Just below the big light dot. So that's where it was. That's where the uh, Beckett employee slammed it on the on the on the surface somewhere. Everything else was nice. <laughs> Keep it in there, we will. Okay, you had a Will Craig Green, the gem. Both your Nolas nined, which I think is what you wanted. Well, obviously you wanted gems, but they nined at least. I didn't think these had a chance at nining, so that shows how much I know. That's why we didn't send these in the first round. I didn't think they had a shot. Okay. Sounds good, Melissa. Thank you. The quest for all the Nolas. Um, you guys had, you guys had six total, Melissa. One, two, three, four, five, six. Unless there was one that was errantly in your pile, which you should definitely let me know so I can try to figure that out. <laughs> Delvin Perez Gold. That uh, gemmed. Ian Anderson gemmed. Duttermas Garcia nined. 15 chrome prospect refractor. Uh, nines all around. Centering corner surface. Okay, you had another Nola out of 25. A nine as well. Your Maniac, um, I mean, this was horribly centered. <laughs> I'm not sure why you made me send this in, but hey, we went for it. I think it got an 8 5 last time, right? Centering up on the top, you can see that giant gap and that tiny gap. Maniac. Uh, text me which one and I'll figure it out. I had them all in your stack, but could have made a mistake. Maniac Purple 9. Okay. Beauty. Cease Orange, I pulled you. That was just a couple weeks ago, I believe. Right before we sent out the sub, actually. Gemmed. 10 on the centering. So that is what perfect centering looks like for 14 Bowman Draft right there. Orange out of 25. Your Machado Red Ice. Awesome. Gem. Cease was Rookie P. Nice. 14 out of 25 on the Machado. Your Contreras 16 Bowman. Same thing. 9-5. Trey Turner at 9. Your Aaron Judge. 9. For some reason, I thought this was 2012. I'm dumb. Your other Maniac with honestly similar centering as the other one. This one got a 9. Uh, the Surface actually held this back from a gem. What? What? Something on there, man. Something on there. How the hell is that 9-5 centering? Look at the top to bottom on that. Oy. <laughs> oh, Beckett. Your Zeke got a 9. I think that's a bump, right? I'm pretty sure that was an 8.5 and you had me resend it. Um, corners were the only thing that held it back. 8.5. I'm almost positive that was an 8.5. Could be wrong. Let me know, Dave. The AK Gold came back the same exact grade. 8.5. I was going to reset the chat, but it looks like it is fine. 
Uh, that was the AK-11 out of 50. And the Joshua Low 9.5. I think that was definitely a bump. Pretty sure we graded that the first time. Gemmed and the Joe Rizzo 9. I don't remember if that was a bump or a new card. 8.5 on the corners held that one back from a gem. Uh, I just in surface for only 9, too. 5 out of 5 on the Rizzo Shimmer. Er, no. Red Wave, not Shimmer. Rizzo was new. Nice. So there you go, Dave. Uh, 20 total or 21 total? Let's see. There's 5. 2, 3, 4, 5. 2, 3, 4, 5. 20 total cards, Dave. And then you got a big stack of uh, no grades and stuff to come this week as well. Woohoo! The last person in the sub is Brad M. He had 27 total cards. Yeah, so just do. I don't know, whatever I said. I can't remember what I said. Or whatever I averaged to. Truckload of Bowman, yeah. Yeah, hey, it actually came back as an A5, dude. I did yours earlier. It's right here. Um, I don't know what the hell happened, to be frank. I think you got the drunk grader on yours. He's got a 10 on the centering, 9.5 on the edges, and then the corners and surface dinged it. I don't know. Something off there, man. The only corner I saw that was bad was that bottom right. You can see it's got a little bit of white on it. Like I said in the video earlier, I failed you on our first grading attempt. Uh, I had to go live twice, Ron. I had to, uh... Ah, I don't know. I'll, I'll grade something well for you eventually. Uh, here's the link to pay for grading, everybody. Just check out with however many cards you had. Okay. Here you go. These are Brad M. This finishes off the sub, and then I'll save the video and get everybody uh, squared up here that's not squared up yet. Okay. Arietta Mint. Nine. Now, for a product that's called Tops the Mint, and this subset is called Gem 10 Autographs. <laughs> You'd think they'd be gems. The autograph's a 10, at least. Jake Arietta, 61 out of 99, graded a 9. Yeah, that's fun YouTube right there. Uh, the Gibson Flawless got a uh, eight five. Sorry, four out of five on the Flawless Gibson. Surface and edges and corners. Eight point five is pretty damn nice for that. Now, your Harper franchise autographs from the Mint that got a nine five. Forty eight out of fifty. That's a beauty. Did that autograph squeeze a ten? Wow, dude. Nice, Brad. I was worried about that. Streaky, as you can see, on the Harper Auto, but they got a 10. 48 out of 50. The card moves around a lot. I don't know if I like that. Okay, those were your fat cards, Brad. To the rest of your stack. Thice, Blue Wave, 9. Blue Wave Autos from 16 Draft out of 150. Bryant High Tech Gold out of 50 got a 9. Surface on Tech is tough. It's tough. 8-5 Surface, 10-10 Centering and Edges. 46 out of 50. Some of them are on the front, Charles, and some of them are on the back, man. I don't know why they do that, to be honest with you. I was told by somebody who's familiar with the process that when they run out of chips, they print them on the back like this. That when they run out of chips on their daily subs, they, they print them on the back. I don't know if that's the truth or what. Sounds legit, but who knows. Okay, Chipper Jones out of 50. So figure this one out, guys. That is only a 9 auto. Where are the streaks in that? I don't see them. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit, but that Harper's a 10. 
So that's a Chipper Jones Tech Gold out of 50. Nice card, though. Okay, Derrick Henry rated rookie got a 9. A 13 Sterling Auto that gemmed. Oh, the rarity. 10 Auto on the Frazier, too. 10 centering, 9 fives around. Pretty much, Charles. <laughs> Pretty much. That's a nice grade for that Fraser. And then the Rogers 15 got a 9, Brad. Uh, Surface 8.5 held it back. Okay, let's check out the next stack. Bryce Wilson Gold from 16 Draft. Uh, corners dingy. 9 overall, though. Not too shabby. Beautiful card here, but again, they got you on the auto as a 9. Where is the streak in that auto? I don't see it. Card's a 9 overall. Uh, surface, 8.5 is what dinged you. 9 auto. And again, I don't see a streak in that. On the front of the M, the very first part, there's a tiny, tiny streak. Oh, yep, yep. There you go, Steven. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. Autograph off the card. There it is. All right. Legit. Legit. Okay. Kershaw Tribute. Beautiful card right there. Gemmed. And a 10 on the auto. One out of five from 2016 Tribute. See, I was moving too fast for my own good on that Machado. Anderson, 16 best. Gemmed. Looked like a refractor, but it's not apparently. AJ Puck from uh, Leaf Metal, nine. Mint. Uh, low grade on the uh, edges and surface, both got nines. That was purple out of 15. Ichiro, 8.5, blue wave gold. Blue wave gold. That was one out of 10 on the Ichiro, 8.5. Brett Phillips from 15 Bowman. Nine. Houston Astros kid. Didn't he get traded? Very nice Carter here. An extremely tough grade. Um, Greg Bird. 2012 Bowman Platinum Prospect Autos. The bird is the word. You get a 10 on the auto. <laughs> and uh, the rest of the card gem. Uh, Trevor Story. Eight on the corners. Doomed this one. That was a rookie refractor. Trevor Story. 426, 499 on the Trevor. There's another gorgeous grade right here for a really tough year. 2009. Bowman Chrome Draft. AJ Pollock. 9.5. Gemmed. I think that was a refractor as well out of 500. That was a tough year to grade. Trout's rookie year for anybody that doesn't remember. Well, Trout's, Trout's prospect auto for anybody that doesn't remember. Nice card there. AJ. And one of your biggest cards on the sub, your Benny. Got that to gem out. Nice centering for a 2015. Back centering was obviously off, but the front, very nice. Evened out. Just a couple cards left. Nolan Jones Pink from 2016 Leaf Metal. That nine. That was numbered out of 15. Yeah, let's take a look here. Oh, okay, we had another Martez. Purple Chrome for you. We had a Mookie Betts Rookie Auto from Classics. 136 out of 299. Three, you got a Zimmer from 15 best. That nine as well. I think we had another one of those in the sub. Somebody else had one. They both nine. And your last three were all gems. Sheffield, gold, beautiful card. Yankees lefty now. No longer an Indian. That was his gold first chrome auto from 14 draft. 20 out of 50. Was a little worried about that one with that back centering way off. But pulled through. 
Hank Aaron Black Tech Auto. High tech highlights. Look at those subs. That's an odd one. 10, 10, 10. Surface got a 9. 11 out of 25. The surface on those techs, I say it every time, they're extremely tough. And they actually give you a 10 auto on that, and it's off the card. See the H? And you still got the 10 auto. You guys saw the auto grades all over the friggin' place, this submission. Man. I mean, I know Hank's a rough signer, but to give that a 10... Ugh, that chip or not. <laughs> 11 out of 25, though, black tech, that would have looked unbelievable if that was a black label. And your last card, a very beautiful one, 15 out of 25. Lasting imprints, kind of wood style there on the KB from 16 Legacies. Lasting imprints, 15 out of 25. And that gemmed. With a 10 auto. KB. And that is our entire sub. Thank you guys for joining, Brad. Let me just get a total count on cards for you so you know how many to check out with. One, two, three, four, five. He's in the stack. I want to say you had 27. I think that's what I had written down. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, twenty-seven. Yeah, twenty-seven for you, Brad. So you can use this link right here to check out. All right, let me save this video, guys, and we're up for personals for the rest of the night. Divisionals, hit drops. Uh, we got a heritage box for Melissa to start. We'll be back in just a couple minutes. You better put your pants.